Hello guys and welcome back. So let's solve a new lead code video. So today's problem is to find a valid matrix given row and column sums. So here the announcement is you are given two arrays row sum and call sum of non-negative ent integers where row sum of i is the sum of the element at the eth row and column sum or call sum of j is the sum of the elements of the j column of a 2d matrix so in the other words we do not know the elements of the matrix but you do know the sum of each row and column so what we want to do is to find any matrix of non-negative integers of size rows dot length so like let's say for example n and m that satisfies the row sum and the column sum requirements so here for example if we take this matrix right here we want to find all the elements that that can sum up here like on this column level they should sum up to eight here they should sum up to six and here eight and also here the all the elements that we want or we will put in here they should sum up to five seven and also ten so here let's first go through this or like let's try to solve this manually so here one way so if i put five here and then how like what is the next value or the maximum value that i can put in here so here i know that to satisfy this five i need to put zero in the rest now so the colon so when we sh when we check this colon right here what what we are missing to satisfy this eight so let's say three in here and zero in here so here 10 is still not complete but now this one is valid and the 8 is also valid so now let's move to the next one so here we have 6 all right so here for the 7 we are missing 4 so i will put 4 in here and i will put 0 in here or let let me leave it empty for now so here 3 and 4 can I put something else? So for example, can I put one or two or three here? So no, if I put something, so this will invalidate the seven. So I need to put zero in here. So now this seven is valid. So now moving to the last one or like the next one. So here we have four, four, we need to satisfy the six. We need to put two in here. So six now is valid. So now moving to the last one. So here I have 10 and I have eight. So I have zero here and zero here. So if I put eight in here, I will, I will satisfy this one and satisfy also this one. So this is one solution. So for the problem, they mentioned that there might be multiple solutions. So for example, we can find another one. We can put the five in the middle in here. We can have one here, six here, four here, and so on and so forth. And also this will be a valid solution. So now let me walk you through how we can implement this step by step. So now let's start with this one and this one. So here first, I will take the minimum between the eight and five. So here I will put five. And now all I need to do is to update the sum. So here I will subtract five. So I will have zero and subtract five from here. And this will give me three. All right. So I move to the next one. So also always I will take the minimum between the current column and the row itself. So here it's zero and the same is zero. So this is the minimum. Now I will move to this one. So what is the minimum between seven and three? So this is the new value. So I will put three in here. Now I will move to the next one. So here, of course, I need to subtract. So I, this one will become four. And this one, if I move three, so it will become zero. All right. So if I move to the next one, what is the minimum between six and four? It's four. So I put four and subtract four from here. So this one becomes zero and this one becomes two. All right. The next one, what is the minimum between eight and zero? So the minimum is zero. And here I don't need to subtract anything. So now moving to the next one. What is the minimum between 10 and zero? So zero, I put zero in here. What is the minimum between 10 and two? So the minimum is two. I will subtract two from here. So this one becomes zero and this one becomes eight. Now moving to the final one. What is the minimum between eight and eight? So eight, like they are both equal. So I just put eight in here, subtract and also subtract in here. And now I have a valid matrix that all the elements 
of the columns they sum to these values and the same for the like for the columns they sum to this value and for the rows they sum to this value so here we used the greedy algorithm so like we did not create any formula we just took the minimum updated so here the time complexity first like for this problem is a big o n times m since like this is the matrix and the matrix is not a squared ma matrix so like it will it can be for example two three or like three five and so on and so forth only one downside here like maybe in an interview you are not allowed to do that so what we are doing in here is that we are modifying these input arrays so each time we calculate something or each time we place a number we are updating the values in here so maybe in an interview you are not allowed to do it so one way to solve it so here because so now we have so this is the time complexity sorry like i'm i just just came to my mind so i wanted to mention it so and the space complexity is big o of one so here one way to solve this problem or like if we might consider it a problem we can create a copy of the columns and a copy of the rows so like this we will not modify the input arrays and in this way we can solve this problem now let's let's jump to the code and let me show you how we can implement this one all right so now for the solution first i will create a variable like to store uh, the length of the rows and the columns in a variable called n and m and here this will be my matrix result so this will be the, the variable that will hold the result and i have two counters or like i have two pointers so here while my i or like while i did not pass or like i did not reach the end of the row nums i will continue and in the same time uh, while i did not reach the end of the columns what i will do first as i mentioned we want to determine the minimum value between the rows and the columns then i will update the the row and the columns so like for the row i will subtract subtract it from the result since i placed placed it already in here so i need also to update the row or the call sum so like we update the call the row sum and the call sum and now if my row sum of i equals zero so like when i reach zero i know that i need to move on otherwise like i move on the column level and that's it and finally i just need to return the result so so as you can see the code is pretty easy and even if we check the efficiency of the algorithm we see it's pretty efficient and it's one millisecond and it beats 100 percent of the solutions provided on lead code all right thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe share the video with your friends and see you in the next one